Thomson Reuters, the way we predict Nobel Prize winners is to primarily rely on citation indicators. How many times other researchers cite work in the literature, the scientific journal literature. Uh, we've had uh, surprising success since 2002. We've been able to uh, predict correctly 15 individuals who have gone on to win the Nobel Prize, nine individual prizes, and uh, we've done this primarily through citation indicators. This year, Elizabeth Blackburn, Carol Greider, and Jack Shostak won the Medicine Prize for their work on telomeres. And previously, they'd won the Lasker Award and the Gardner Award. So people have asked, oh, isn't it easy to predict a Nobel Prize? You just pick the people who have won these predictive prizes, the prestigious prizes that often lead to a Nobel Prize. But back in 1993, in our newsletter Science Watch, we featured an interview with Elizabeth Blackburn because she was then such a highly cited scientist. Now it took many years, 16 years, before the Nobel Committee recognized her. And she won the Gardner Prize in 1998 and the Lasker Prize in 2006. So really, the citations were the first indicators of how highly other scientists held her work. So as early as 1965, Eugene Garfield looked at all the citation data that had been collected and tried to understand what are the characteristics, what's the publication and citation profile of a Nobel Prize winner. And he found, as far back as 1965, with only a few years of data, the index had only begun a few years earlier, that Nobel Prize winners were cited 30 times, 30 times more than the average scientist. And they published five times more than the average scientist. So Nobel Prize winners really stand out in terms of their publication and citation profile from other scientists. I've continued the work since 1989, and it's been since 2002 that Thomson Reuters has annually uh, tried to predict who may win the Nobel Prize in physics, chemistry, medicine, and economics. And since then, uh, there have been 15 winners for nine prizes, and we're hopeful that we might again succeed next year.